This is sorting new data with existing data whenever it's added. Here's the data I already have. A date here and then some other fields to make the data add more meaningful. I already have this data all sorted from April 1st through May 5th. What I want to do is have it set if I add a new row here, let's say on 5.2, John with Samson on site 1 with a 4 rating. When I do that, I want this data to automatically be sorted where it goes. I don't want to have to go and use the sort tool or copy them and sort them somewhere else and put them back. I want to automatically, whenever new data is added, sort it, sort it into place. Let's go ahead and get right into all those. Let's jump into extensions app script. Now, because I want this to happen whenever I manually add data, I'm going to use on edit. If I were doing this whenever form data comes in, or data from another spreadsheet or some other connection comes in, I would use some other trigger, be that on change or on form submit. We're showing manual data, on edit is great. If there is no edit, then we just wanna say, you did this wrong. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and call my function auto sort edit. Which is made pretty obvious order. Function auto sort edit. And I always like to declare my sheet and the range at the beginning. So const source equals e dot source dot get active sheet, get the sheet where the edit occurred. And const r, which I use shorthand for range, is e dot range. So the sheet of the edit and the range or the cell of the edit. And if source.get name is not equal to sheet one or r dot row start equal to one. And now here's something really important. I need to make sure that the column I choose to be the trigger column is guaranteed to be the last column filled out. Okay, so I'm going to make the assumption that data will always be filled out here from left to right, from date, then manager, then technician, then site, then rating. So I can safely say, or r dot column start is not equal to five. Now, someone could be doing this backwards and say that the date is the last thing that they get. They have all the rest of this data and then they put in the date. They have the date and all of this data, but they're not sure what manager it belongs to. Whatever the last data to be put in on this row is, we want that to be the trigger column. I know it's gonna be five. And if any of those things is call is is false, let's return. Let's quit the script immediately so that it doesn't keep running. Now this I know is going to work. One thing to note here, I have put in this if the name of the tab is not sheet one. Because there's only one tab here, that could actually be safely avoided, safely removed like this. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it in so that if you're using this in one of your projects, you really easily see where and what should be added. So if yours is called data, or if it's called import, or if it's called master list, or whatever that is, you can go ahead and just fill that. Now this I know is gonna run, I don't need to do anything to test that. The one thing I do want to look at is the actual functionality itself. I want to sort A2 through E when this, when the edit occurs. So let's do let range equals source dot get range. I'm gonna do row two, column one, and my number of rows is going to be source dot get last row minus one. That's important. Here I currently have 11 rows of data. Let's see here, 11 rows of actual data. But the last row is row 12. So if I said start at row two, column one, and get as many rows as there is data, 
it would get all of this. It would get 12 rows. I don't want 12 rows. I want 11 rows, right? I know I have one header row, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that one. And we do want all five columns. So that's going to be my range. My range is A2 through E whatever. Now, I have previously tried doing sorts where I was using pure JavaScript. And it was awful. You can do it, but what you have to do, let's just pseudocode that out. What you have to do is declare the range, get values, write a function to sort the values, then replace range values with sorted values. It's convoluted. It's nasty. And especially if you're dealing with dates as the sorting, dates and JavaScript don't play nice. So this is a really, really hard way to do it. I've done it. I've since learned. So hopefully you can learn from my learning and mistakes I've made. What we're actually going to use is the range.sort method. So we're here on the Google Developer section. We're in Sheets, Range, Sort is what I'm looking at. Now this shows that if you have a range, you can really easily sort that in a few ways. There's just a range.sort function. You can simply tell it which column to sort on. And if you do that, it's just going to do it uh, ascending. You can tell it to do whichever column you want, and you can say ascending is false, or in other words, descending. You can do multi-column sorting, all sorts of things. This is the right way to do it when you're sorting in Google Sheets with App Script. Other programs, you might just have to use the JavaScript options and write it. Here, we can go ahead and just use range.sort. So I want to do range.sort, and I want to sort on column one. It's that easy. Okay, let's save this. Come back here. Now I'm going to go ahead and just type in that row that we previously talked about. May 2nd, John, Helen, site 2, rating 4. And this should be the trigger column. When I hit enter here, it should automatically sort. Look at that. It did exactly what we wanted. Now, obviously, it didn't carry over the formatting. That's probably just because the entire column should be formatted first. So now if I do it again, let's do 422. See, now it keeps the formatting. So the, the column really needs to be formatted first. When it sorts it, it's going to sort the entirety of that range, including whatever formatting is attached there. So let's do Mary and Jacina, site one. And this was a bad day. They just got a rating of two. And there it goes. Moved exactly where it should be between 421 and 429. So this range.sort method makes it incredibly simple. And because we can call that from any on edit script, you can actually add this idea into any other script. So if you're using my other script that moves rows when you check a box or use a drop down menu, you can add this functionality to the output so that it automatically sorts that into place. If you're using two-way sync, you can do the same thing. If you're having form data come in and you want to resort based on a date or a name or a rating, you can go ahead and do that. This method right here is so simple, it clears up a lot of challenges and it works really fast to make sure that whenever an edit occurs, it sorts it exactly where you want it to be. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. Please like, subscribe, share, all the normal things. You can connect with me at these addresses below, and I do try to stay up to date and commenting and interacting on the comment section.